So it's raining out. I thought I'd just work on some stuff in the garage, like fix my daughter's exhaust or the beater car. Uh, and then I thought, well, let's do a little video on welding. So I have a whole bar handler 190, you can see. And this thing has welded everything under the sun. So to make a good weld, you want some nice clean steel. MIG welders don't like dirty metal. So you're gonna wanna grind that up, you know, so it's nice and clean. You just wanna weld in a nice half moon shape. And it's gonna, you're just gonna keep welding nice and easy. And you'll see, you know, that weld puddle into itself the whole time you're doing that. You don't want to go fast because you're not going to get a good, you know, good stick to it. But if you got thicker metal and then thick, thinner metal that you're sticking to, you want to spend a little bit more time down, you know, I'll spend a little more time down here on this thick stuff and then come up here and then come down here. And it's just always going to be in a half moon shape. And you're just going to take it nice and easy. So you want a nice clean spot for your ground to sit. And I don't know, I've been told the closer your ground to the to your weld the better, but I've welded on things, I've welded on cars where I've had a ground on the front bumper and I'm welding, you know, way back in the back, so and it worked just fine. The other thing that you're gonna want is a nice clean helmet that you can see through. Uh, I use an auto darkening helmet so I, don't, I can put it down and see what I'm doing when I'm getting started and then go to town. So this is our beater car. Uh, the exhaust is, I'm not going to put a bunch of money in this, but the exhaust started leaking. sounds even worse when it's under load so I'll show you what I got to fix on it so where the catalytic converter hooks on these it's just a clamp that's molded right to the pipe so I'm just gonna weld it like I said it's just the beater car so if I did ever have to put an exhaust on this or fix it better, I would have to do the entire exhaust because it's pretty rough. I'm going to see what I can do right now. Let's see what she sounds like. Much better. Alright, so to recap on pen and paper. You're going to start welding those half moons and you're just going to keep doing that zigzag all the way down through your weld. And over here I have, so let's say your thick, thick steel is over here, your thin steel is over here. So you'll start welding here and then just kind of hold, come across, hold come across 
and just keep doing that all the way down through. And that's how I weld. People weld different ways, but that's how I weld. And I haven't ever had a weld fail. So, all right, that's all for today. It's raining and gloomy out. So I'm gonna go inside, hang out for a while, maybe edit some videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share on social media if you could. Thanks, have a good day.